Hey friends, welcome back to the channel and welcome to an unboxing that I'm gonna be honest with you, I am a little, I don't wanna say reticent. Um, I, I just, I'm a little nervous about it, I guess. So as you saw from the thumbnail and the title, this is an unboxing of what I pre-ordered from the Louis Vuitton Denim Remix Collection. So. As some of you know, Louis Vuitton is sort of re-releasing denim pieces as well as some Vernie pieces. For those of you who aren't familiar, Vernie is Louis Vuitton's version of patent or patent leather. And they're doing both of those in a remix. So they're releasing some previous designs and some new designs and tweaking things, whatever. Anyway, that, that's what they're doing. And they're doing it sort of in the beginning of this 2024 year. So uh, back in early December, I think it was actually like December 1st, I was able to pre-order any items that I was interested in from the denim collection. And this item is what I picked up. But I'm going to talk to you in addition to unboxing this item about my feelings about the denim collection after seeing it in person in boutique and I will throw up some video and pictures here from when I was at the flagship store on uh, Fifth Avenue a couple days ago and I had received this piece in the mail. I bought this from Saks, FYI, pre-ordered it from uh, the Saks Louis Vuitton boutique and it came in. She ended up actually just shipping it to me. So I have yet to see this piece because this piece is something that I think sold out pretty much immediately if it even hit the website. I don't even know if it did, if it was even available to order or if it was all like pre-sold. But after seeing some of the pieces of the collection in store, like and actually being able to touch them and feel them, I'm a little nervous about this. So without further ado, Let's let's see what I got and let's see what I think. All right, so as I mentioned, this did get shipped to me. So this is just a, an old bag that I had because it didn't come with a bag in the box that it came in. But the item I got is in this box, put that down. So I did actually get, I think this is the Christmas ribbon. I did see that they were doing like a, a sleeve that went over it for Christmas for holiday packaging. I, I clearly didn't get that, but you know, I appreciate that my sales associate did give me the holiday ribbon. So kind of see what that looks like. It's red, obviously with gold Louis Vuitton writing on it. So let's, like I said, let's get into this. Obviously, you can tell from the size of the box, it is a small leather good. And, you know, there were, I think maybe, maybe five, six or so SLGs. Actually, probably more than that. I forgot there was like some cosmetic pouches. And so yeah, maybe like eight or so small leather goods. So let's see, let's see what I got. So let's see if I like it. <laughs> Okay, well, obviously that is, I assume, my receipt. I was wondering what was like jingling around in this box when it came in like the shipping box. I heard like things moving and now I know why because she sent me some perfume samples. So uh, yes, that is my receipt. And let's see what fragrances I got before I look at the item. So I got Cour Baton, which is actually a fragrance that I own and enjoy. Afternoon Swim, that's great. This is one that David uses, so that'll be nice for him when he travels. And another one of Afternoon Swim, so perfect. Um, yeah, nothing new to try, but ones that either I like or David likes, so that works out great, like I said, especially for travel. All right, so here is the actual dust bag. You guys can probably guess what the item is based on that, I would think. All right, I don't know why I'm nervous. It's not like this is, you know, anything, there's nothing that deep about it. I just, like I said, I'm concerned and I'll tell you about it after I reveal. So here we go. All right, well, I still can't see it. And I got the clay, obviously in the denim, right? No, uh, no S, Sherlock. 
Okay, so I feel like, first of all, I feel like I need to go grab another clay because does anybody else think that this is like, like narrower and by narrow, I mean, not as tall as a regular clay? Hmm. Anyway, I think it does have more of like an oversized zipper. Very smooth, I'll give it that. And then obviously we've got our little textile cards for those who are perhaps looking for this item. Here is the skew if you're looking for that. And as you can see, it does have this little Vachetta tab or Vachetta tab on the front. Obviously it comes with its typical key ring thing there. And then it's got this, it's, uh, I don't know if this is just for the denim collection or if this is like Louis Vuitton's new little inside, <laughs> I don't even know what to call this, but it's got like the fleur-de-lis and the little, it's got like this, <laughs> it's got like this and this little emblems etched in. I don't know if you guys can see that, hopefully you can. I'll try to do maybe some cutaways to show you that. And then yes, this is made in France. So I will say I am happy with the item based on what I saw on the other denim items that I was concerned about. So that is good, but this just seems really short to me. Like, well, I guess a cra anyway, let me grab my clay that's in my bag that's like sitting over on the bed beyond where I'm sitting and, and let's do a really quick comparison. Okay, by the uh, magic of editing and whatever, I'm back. Okay, so here is, this is my Christmas animation one that I just received, you know, not just received. Oh yeah, here, I'll, well, I'll show you that in a second. But I don't know, does anybody else? I feel like it's definitely a little shorter. Can you guys see that? Especially if I push that down, it's definitely smaller height-wise. Now in all other, well, I would say it's even maybe slightly shorter this way. Um, you know, depth-wise, I don't really think that there's a big, but look at the difference between the hardware. So this is what's on a normal key pouch, and then there's this really oversized there. This is slightly longer and slightly taller. Now I also grabbed my Lisa wallet to grab, I'll just grab my Target card here. I'm just curious whether, because it just looks so narrow that I, I would be concerned that I don't even know if a card can fit. So, hmm. okay, hang on. <laughs> Let's get this out of here for now. Um, Okay, so first of all, you kind of need to push, or at least on mine, the, the inside like seams where it's sewn, one was kind of sticking up. Um, yeah, it, I mean, it, it does, but it like is just, I don't know if you guys can tell that, but it is like right at the top. Let me try putting it in my other one. I mean, I do carry cards in this occasionally, like if I'm just, uh, if I'm just running out. There's, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is quite a bit more room between the top of my card and the top of here. I will also tell you that like, because of the way the denim is sewn, and I think it's because it's actually double denim, and I don't mean that from the standpoint of like, you know, tuxedo, um, but it it's tight in there, guys. Like I almost, I almost feel like there's like a gap between the interior part of it. Like this card isn't going down to here. Like it's stopping here. So it's like they sewed the, like whatever, the interior, I mean, the interior lining, as you can see, is different. It's the smaller, it's a smaller version of this. So it is lined, okay? So they took another piece of denim and they sewed it into it. 
I'm wondering if mine, I'm gonna have to, I know a couple of people who bought this, so I'm gonna ask them if they have kind of the same issue, but it's, it's like, I mean, you're not getting a lot in here and even side to side, there's not that much room. Let me put it in. And this thing is filled with coins and my whopping two keys that I have. So if I put this, slide this card, all the way over to the side. Look at how much more room. Let me, hold on. Let me take this out just so you can see. But look at how much, I don't, can you guys see that? I'm sorry, I know it's hard with the pink interior, but look at how much more room there is between the edge of this key pouch and the edge of that card versus How much room here yeah I don't know that's really interesting to me I mean I don't know that that's a deal killer for me but this one at least feels like I said significantly smaller and I realize it's not that much smaller but when you're talking about an item that's only this big to begin with those little you know half an inch quarter of an inch here, quarter of an inch, third of an inch there, makes a big difference. I mean, I don't know, guys, look, just, is it me? Or just visually, this just looks so much, and let me, here, let me put this back in, and let me even just, I'll flip it around to the back, so it's, you know, plain, and just like you had a regular clay, here, and I'll flip this one around so we can see. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. Anyway, well, as I said, <laughs> I, I do like it. I'm gonna talk to a couple people who bought this, see if they have that same kind of interior thing. I don't wanna call it an issue because maybe that's just how they're all sewn and it's not an issue, it's just the way it is. And then I'll have to decide whether, you know, it works for me, right? I'll have to put my keys on here and I'll have to put some coins in there and some cards and see if it works because that's what I need it for now. 99% of the time when I have this in my bag, it is how it is right now with just coin and keys. So, you know, I don't always carry cards, but if I'm carrying a really small bag, then I do sometimes like to just like throw my license, my debit card, my Amex, and, and usually my target card, although I don't have to carry my target card because I do have it on my phone, you know, but probably four cards is what I like sort of typically walk around with, including my ID. So I'll, I'll play around with that and let you know. I'll give you an update, I'll let you know my thoughts. Okay, so I popped it up there just so we can see it as I talk. So I went, like I said, into Louis Vuitton, into the flagship store about a week or so ago. I mean, it was after the launch and I wanted to see some of the other pieces in the collection. There were a couple that I wanted to try to see, you know, actually in person. One of which was the Sunset bag, which they did not have, unfortunately, because that was kind of the only like bag that I thought I might be interested in. And then I also wanted to see the Horizon suitcase. I know, shock. <laughs> so uh, I'm just gonna say it now, and this, this is probably going to be an unpopular opinion but I was pretty disappointed in the denim pieces that I saw, which is why I was concerned about that. And maybe now I know why I'm sort of happier with this versus some of the pieces I saw. And that is because honestly, I felt like the pieces looked really cheap. They were like, super flimsy. So I can only attribute that. And I didn't really like look inside the pieces. I was just sort of like feeling them, but I have a feeling that those other pieces aren't lined. And hopefully I, I like I said, I'll, I'll try to pop some footage up here of some of the pieces that I saw in addition to, you know, ones that I tried on. The only piece that I liked was the croissant bag. And like I said, you'll, you'll see me trying that on here. And I would say I liked it because the structure was much more like this piece. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't need all of the denim pieces to be like super stiff and more rigid, kind of like that. 
but these were so floppy. Hey guys, editing Lisa here. So I just, as I was going back and looking at the footage that I took while I was on Louis Vuitton, I didn't, for some reason, I didn't take pictures or get film video of these pieces that I'm about to talk to you about. So I'm going to insert footage or clips from the Louis Vuitton website. The big difference that you're gonna see here is that every single one of the bags that's shown on the website is stuffed to the gill. Like it is literally, the entire bag is stuffed. When you take out that stuffing, you'll hear what they really look like. It reminded me of some of the pieces, one of the pieces in particular, <laughs> which is the, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's the Hills pouch. Honest to God, <laughs> when I saw that piece, I thought, that looks like something that one of my kids would have sewn in from my time frame. if you guys are more my age, in home ec. Uh, my children, it's now called FAX, which is uh, Family and Consumer Science, I think is what that stands for. Basically sewing and cooking, you know what I mean? I, for the rest of the world, I don't know if you guys have those classes. My kid, you know, they make a pillowcase and uh, the younger kids, like they made like an apron and a pillow blanket combo thing that you like stuff the blanket into the pillow anyway. But yeah, it, it honestly looked like one of those things that they sewed in that class. Yeah. And even though, and I actually thought about that piece because it was reasonable from the rest of the collection standpoint. I, I want to say it was maybe like $1,700, something like that. But after seeing it, boy, am I glad that I did not pre-order that bag because it just, like I said, the, the, the denim itself was just look, felt cheap and the, the design of the bag, it just, it was like, as Minnie likes to say on Minx for All, like it became a beautiful mess. This didn't even become a beautiful mess because it wasn't beautiful to start with. I also saw the backpack. The backpack, you guys, is tiny. It is literally tiny, especially again, because it's so soft and just like collapses in on itself. Again, looks like something you would pick up at Claire's and looks like something that your four-year-old would wear. In my opinion, please, caveat to all of this. If you bought any of these pieces and you love them, I'm thrilled for you and that that's amazing because you should always buy what you love. And if you love these, fantastic. I'm just saying that I personally was very disappointed after seeing some of these pieces in the collection. Now, maybe this is what like the original denim collection was like. I mean, maybe they also were sort of that, but I've seen people unbox and show some of their other pieces and they they don't seem to behave like these pieces that I saw in boutique. So I thought that Hills or whatever little pouch kind of bag thing was ridiculous. I thought the backpack was absurd. The croissant bag. So, you know, here's where YouTubers like kind of take their words back, right? So I, I did a video on like a lot of the new releases that, that Louis Vuitton is doing over the next couple months. If you missed that video, I'll link it up above here. My point is, is that in that video, I talked about the croissant bag and how I did not like the shape of that bag. First of all, it doesn't even look like a croissant to me. It looks like a kidney bean, but anyway, that's not the point here. But I saw somebody trying it on and I'm tr I can't remember which YouTuber it was. But anyway, somebody was trying it on in a recent vlog, the regular version of it. And I was like, oh, what? I maybe kind of like the way. I like the way it sort of like hugged the curves and because of that sort of dip in the middle of it, like it, it just, it looked better on the body than just looking at it, you know, in a stock photo kind of thing. So I thought, well, I'll go look at it in the denim because like maybe I would actually like that. Okay, first of all, that little baby one that's hanging off of it, again, a hard no for me. It just looks, again, it looks like it. you could buy it at Claire's. It just, all of these pieces look so cheap to me. As I said, the only one that I actually liked was the Kusan, and that's obviously because it's a more sort of structured bag. 
And again, I, I realized that, that, you know, some of the denim, depending on the style, you know, like probably the sunset, should be more slouchy. But that doesn't mean that it should look cheap. And of the pieces that I saw in general, the collection looked very cheap. So like I said, loved the Kusan bag, loved the Horizon. <laughs> oh, like I said, I'll throw some pictures up here of me, you know, twirling it around and, you know, showing it off, thinking about, you know, where I was going to jet off to next. But yeah, I just, I was really, really, really underwhelmed and frankly, pretty disappointed. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the denim collection and the little piece, like I said, that I pre-ordered back in early December. We'll see whether I end up keeping the piece or not. I will certainly keep you guys updated to let you know what I decide to do. I'll send some messages out to some folks and see if they have kind of a similar thing with theirs. Maybe mine is like, not defective, but not maybe sewn absolutely correctly. Let me know your thoughts about the denim collection. Did you pick up any pieces from this collection? Are you happy with what you got? Have you seen any in store? Or were you also surprised by kind of maybe the quality or, or how they appeared? Anyway, let me know, like I said, your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you uh, liked what I unboxed. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. It does help the YouTube algorithm. And if you've been around for a while and you haven't subscribed, love to have you here. Click the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. If you haven't had enough of me yet, I will pop another video up here for you to watch. And wherever you are, I hope you are having an amazing day or evening, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.